What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be revisiting an old video of mine called How to Start Winning Right Now. All right, let's get to that reaction. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode of Winning Mindset, I'll be going over five things that can help you start winning in your life right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year. Right now. Let's get to it. Okay, since then I've taken that mind down in my room. It's the old Tip intro. Number one, embracing your adversity. Embrace adversity. When trouble comes your way. Embracing adversity has not changed. I recently discussed that in episode 11 of the Winning with Nick podcast. You cannot run away. You cannot cower in fear. You cannot complain to the next man, next woman, next person about your troubles. You must look your troubles in the face. Face your fears. Face that adversity and conquer it. Take it head on. Let me show you. Avoid or let me the tell path you of least resistance when it comes to so bettering the yourself. first thing when trouble comes your Nothing way. Nothing worth having is in life is easy. Calm. You don't want to get too excited or too frustrated because an emotional mind is an out of control mind. You want to think. So when it comes to your emotions, one thing I encourage you to work on because it is a work in progress. It does not happen overnight. Do not make decisions when you're in an emotional state of mind. You should be in your 100% logical form of thinking when making impactful and important decisions. When making those decisions, think with this, not this. That is the winning mindset and the winning mentality. Why, not why is this happening to me? What am I gonna do to make this go away or how am I gonna use this to better myself? I'll give you an example. If you're driving your car and it breaks down and you figure out it's the engine, you don't complain and you don't start crying. You think of this as, this is an opportunity for me to learn how my car works. So another shameless plug here in episode 11 of the winning with Nick podcast, I'm discussing the beauty of failure. So as you can see, these themes aren't really changing. What they're doing is evolving. So building upon foundations and infrastructures I've already set early on in the channel, but learning more and continuing to expound and better explain these things. It works for me to learn how that engine works. If you think about life like that, things will go so much smoother for you. You don't just complain every time, like, oh my gosh. Winners no, don't complain, they overcome. Here. here at Winning at Nick, we embrace our adversity. We don't run from it. We don't complain to other people about it, because let's just be honest. Nobody cares when you're going No to one adversity. cares about I your troubles. I bet you can count on maybe one no hand, one. if that, the number of people who are truly in your corner. That is another thing to think about. Nobody cares when you're facing adversity. Nobody cares. It is you and your mind, and that's it. You face adversity. Regardless of what goes on when you step outside, at the end of the day, it is just you, your thoughts, and your drive. And having that winning mindset and that winning mentality is what will keep you out of those mental ruts, what will project you towards the goals you have set for yourself through your plan of action to execute that plan of action and become more of a winner and then restart with those same steps to achieve success. It is just you, your thoughts, your plan of action, your winning mindset and mentality. You attack it head on, you don't let it defeat you, you allow it to build yourself up to strengthen you as a person. So when you experience more adversity, you know, hey, this seems familiar, I've dealt with this before. You think I'm gonna let this affect me? No, I'm gonna attack it head on and I'll make it cower in fear make adversity run in the face of me or in your case run in the face of you yes winners and adversity one should run in the face of you now on to step two that's how you know you're winning step number two nice little jump Finding cut small things in life to just completely destroy to completely kick its butt it can be something as simple as making your bed in the morning 
or making yourself a lunch before you go to work so you're not tempted to spend money while you're at work on the vending machine or from the drink machine. Small victories like that, the little things are what matters. Because the, the more you do matter. the little things right, when it comes to the big things, your mind's already trained. The big picture Notice is filled with small details. Between Remember that. It is 100% mental. If you train your mind right, the body will follow. I know you guys have heard that before. Train the mind. The mind the is the hardest thing to conquer when you've you conquered your, your mind. mind right, the world is you're yours. embracing I truly that adversity. That. You're finding these small victories. When it comes to something big, you're like, I've been here before. And you'll be able to knock that thing out. Preparation the is key. Find in life. these small victories and you win. Win the day. Dominate the day. Number <laughs> That's three, episode 10. Become a self educator. Don't just wait for what will be spoon fed to you in the classroom or if you're an athlete, what's spoon fed to you at practice. Become motivated to the point where you're so hungry that you become to educate. So let me expound on what I refer to as spoon fed environments. That's an environment in which people are just kind of telling you what they want you to know, or that's just where everyone who's average hangs out. If all you do is what is required of you, you will never succeed. You will never win. You must go above and beyond. Shout out to the anime watchers. If you've seen uh, My Hero Academia, you know, a winner goes beyond plus ultra. Again, shout out to my anime watchers. Yourself outside of those spoon fed environments. For me, I read books. Uh, for instance, I've started The 48 Laws of Power, The Art of War. So a quick side note about the books I've been reading. One thing I've decided to commit to, this is my plan of action. Yes, I've bought all these books. But what I'm going to do is read them one at a time, not try to read so many at a time. That way I'm retaining quality over quantity so I can get these solid book reviews out for you guys. Or if you guys are David Goggins fans, he has a book called You Can't Hurt Me. I've started that. I'm currently on chapter three, doing all the challenges to... As of now, I'm on chapter five, actually. As I would I restarted. say on this channel, to become a winner, to develop that winning mindset so you can win at life. You must be so hungry to the point where... You just, just like the lion hanging in the background. You have to make yourself be ferocious. Better. No one can make intensity. you except you. You have to develop that winning mindset to where you're not scared... To educate how successful, you how far you go in life I want to is all dependent you know, on how hard you're willing to work. Anything. No, I got myself on YouTube and I started watching videos. How to make a YouTube channel. How to, what's good content to create. And so if you study the progression, the evolution of my channel, you can see different developments over time where I've done more research to further develop the quality of the channel and the content. I promise. Go look at the first video I've made and look at my most recent video. There is a huge difference. I guarantee that. Through that, I was able to create a YouTube channel, which I'm now able to share this information back to you guys. So become a self-educator. Find something you Dang, want to learn about. Not even halfway about. through. Got a lot of good information. Research there. it and develop your mind in that category so you can move on to the next one because it never ends. Education is a never-ending journey. You want to learn something. Once you start learning, you should never stop till the day so you, you leave this earth. Keep improving yourself. Never stop improving. From the day you can speak your first word, from the day you're able, you possess the capacity to learn. You don't ever want to stop till the day you leave this See. earth. Always improve yourself. Always win. Never stop winning. Do you want to become a loser? I didn't, I didn't think, think so. so. Keep improving. Keep self-educating. Develop that winning mindset. Now we're on to step number four. Tip number right out four. There. Start working out. Guys. So, something about working out. I haven't made any workout videos in a while. There's a reason for that. Just know when the workout videos start coming back out, I got something special for you guys. Believe that. What is this channel about? Physical fitness and mental fitness. It's one of the if four pillars of winning with Nick. Physical not fitness. physically fit, that creates something in your mind that just... Having a body that you're proud to look at if you're doing gives you a different level of mind, confidence. You have a winning mindset, but your body can't keep up with that because you're not in good physical condition. You're limiting yourself. Start working out. It can be something as simple as doing some of the things in my videos, you know, push-ups, lifting weights. I don't have a gym membership. I don't go to the gym. Everything I do is something you can do at home. Oh, wait. Pause the video. That has changed. I now have a membership at Planet Fitness. 
you can go watch the video where I did kind of a review of the gym, just gave a few thoughts of mine. But I now have a membership at the local Planet Fitness. You know, I go in there. I'm a big upper body guy. I have a, uh, well, that's a little bit too much information. I won't delve into too much of my personal life. But I definitely work on my upper body, you know, uh, some lower body here and there. Definitely abs, you know, summer's coming up soon. You know, winter's one thing I talk about is letting your results speak for themselves. You can't tell anybody you have a six pack, but when you're chilling on the beach by yourself, enjoying some time off from all the hard work you've been putting in, that six pack that you have from all the hard work, the blood, sweat and tears you've put in to becoming a winner will speak for itself. You won't have to tell anybody, hey, guys, I did a lot of ab workouts. Now I have a six pack. No, <laughs> they'll see it. You can't deny what you see. That is results. That is a receipt. Indeniable. Check out the next video, by the way. It will be breaking down push-up forms, how to properly do push-ups. So I broke down that towards the end of that video. You know, someone DM'd me on Instagram, so I had no problem making that video for them. But just to reiterate, uh, let's see, about right here. When you're doing your push-ups, proper form, you wanna have your hands about here fully extended. And when you go down, you want to be here, you want your chest to touch the ground, and you want to fully extend to get that full range of motion. And that is one rep. If you're not getting that full range of motion, you're not doing push-ups, I don't know what the hell you're doing. But if that's something you struggle with, I have consultation time set up, and I can link that down below. All right, back to the video. All of that good stuff. Check it out. So get into working out you don't have to be arnold schwarzenegger that's another misconception about working out you don't have to be a bodybuilder because you work out working out is just about keeping yourself in good good enough physical condition to where you can endure the trials and tribulations of life you don't have to be a bodybuilder working in a corporate office that's not what i'm saying just again your body should be able to endure the life that you live you can't be out of shape, struggling to go upstairs and expect to live a happy life. Believe that. Or a Lou Ferrigno or someone more modern. You don't have to be an NFL The Hodge Twins, some swole Just guys on YouTube. You don't have out. to look like them to be you successful in life. Shout out to them, though. You. If you look in the mirror <clears throat> and you see something that you're not proud of, change that. Start doing some push-ups. Start doing some sit-ups. Start drinking more water. You have to be the force that changes you. If your life was a ball and it was going up a hill, it's just you, that ball on that hill. If you don't start digging in your heels in that dirt and start pushing that ball up the hill towards success, the ball won't move. You're in control of your own destiny. Believe that. Boom. Don't be somebody who waits for things ha to happen. Don't be somebody who lets things happen and like, oh, well, make things happen for yourself. Yes. Start working out. Make things you happen. Three people. Those who let things happen, those who wonder, hey, what the hell just happened? And those who make things happen. That's what a winner does. They make things happen. They don't just dream and, oh, I wish that could be a possibility. No, those possibilities, those dreams, they make them happen. Be a winner. Be the hero of your own story. My voice is elevating because I'm so excited about this. You don't have no idea how excited winning gets me. That's why I encourage you guys to share your stories of winning. I had a DM from a guy. Let's see if I can pull that up while I'm uh, still recording. Let's see. Because stories like this, they let me know that I'm doing something right to encourage you guys. Okay, I won't disclose the person's information, but been working nonstop. Winter storm hit. So my company is super backed up. It's grueling. I have little no, to no time to eat, let alone do homework. Yesterday, I think you talked about your schedule and it made me realize I got to tough it out and that as long as you apply yourself and try your best, good things come. So like I told the guy, that's facts right there. You know, life isn't going to always be sunshine and roses, but that's where your character is defined. If you were a sword, that's where you get sharpened. Those tough times, adversity. Life has a lot of peaks and a lot of troughs for my economic people out there. It's the in-between that matters. It's the in-between that matters. Adversity, overcome it. Don't complain. Stuff, all this work on your mind, start working on your body too, guys. Tip number four, start working out. 
and um, I got a great guide looks for you like guys there was some check out editing issues on here how to get your arms right how to get your chest right and again that's self-made individuals who did not cower in the face of adversity they embraced their adversity LeBron James being other winner okay five there we go tip number five this one goes hand in hand with number three about being a self-educator See, this is just another example in which the channel has grown. I now can cut out these mistakes because I didn't even realize that. So I'm glad I'm doing a revision slash a uh, just revisiting old videos to further expound on what I've been discussing and to help you guys win your own life. So, hey, it pays to go and double check your work. Studying other winners. Guys, you best believe I study some other of my winners. favorite people to listen to talk: David Goggins, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. So these are just guys who are, you know, hardcore guys. You know, whether it be, um, you know, David Goggins with his marathon running and calloused mind, or LeBron James, Kobe Bryant basketball. But guys, I don't only do sports and physical fitness and motivation. I also have a uh, logical mathematical mind. That's what I'm going to school for. So another great mind for me to study would be Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking. Uh, who are some other great guys? Isaac Asimov, you know, the laws of robotics, guys like that. So this channel, Winning Mindset, Winning Mentality, studying other winners is not limited to just sports. You can win in more than just sports. You can win in life. You can win in physics. You can win in chemistry. You can win as a veterinarian. You can win as a car mechanic all of those things. So whoever you idolize in a sense, it's not limited to just sports. You can be more than an athlete. My dad, my mom, these are all people who are successful self made I got some dope parents. Shout out to my parents. Who did not cower in the face of adversity. They embraced their adversity. They conquered their adversity. Guys, Kobe Bryant is literally known for his mindset, the mom mentality. Kobe is a huge you think he got that way by backing down from adversity, to him. by not being a self-educator, Kobe, by not studying other winners? Kobe Bryant talks about it. Well, he talked about it before his unfortunate passing away all the time about how he went to the greats, Michael Jordan, Still Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Julius Erding. He picked their brains to become the monster. You can go back and check some of his mama. interviews. He referred to he that group of people as Goat Mountain, as where he went to collect Five knowledge to enhance himself as a ball through player. what you're going through right now. I talked about that in my last video. Find someone who is at that level or beyond that level of success to help coach you through what... Guys, it will be hard in this life to cut your losses with people who are not adding value because quite often they can be friends. But if someone is pulling you down more than you're building up together, you just have to cut your ties, cut your losses with them. It may hurt you emotionally in the short term, but in the long term, it will be a great decision that you've made because it's lonely at the top. You're not going to make it with everybody. But if you can find a small group of individuals who are business oriented, goal oriented, I guarantee you that will be a lot better than having a million fake friends who just bring you down and don't add any value to your life. What you are going through. About three minutes left. Adversity, Two and a um, half. Starting up a YouTube channel, finding a new job. You're out of college trying to find a career in your field. Finding a good book to read to develop your mind. Anything. Find someone in a position of success. Find a winner. So another little shameless plug here. If you are struggling to find a mentor and you have a tough situation you're dealing with, Check the description box down below. It's my link tree. You can go to the consultations uh, box. Click on that to set up a consultation with me. And what will be included with that? We'll just break down your situation and see how we can stop you from losing and start winning in your own life. If you're serious, I highly recommend that. And pick their brain. Guys, I've spoken about this in my Patreon. You guys aren't checking it out. I so... Uh, I think I kind of jumped the gun with the Patreon thing. I'm no longer concerned with Patreon. It's just what I put on YouTube, what I put on my podcast. And for those of you who are really struggling to come along, I would suggest the consultations. I have different prices and different time slots for that. So depending on how much help you need, there's different options made available to you. And again, it's on my link tree. Click the consultations box and it'll take you right to my consultations where you can schedule one. I don't know why 
I'm giving you guys information. I have no problem with that. If you guys need help on a situation, if you don't know what to do, hit me up, guys. I have my email on my, check out the about on my YouTube channel. Yes, on the about my page, business my business email is linked. There. My social media is in the header for my YouTube profile. If you don't know who to reach out, guys, reach out to me. I am putting yes, myself guys, out Yes, guys, if you are guys. struggling to win in your own life, to be the hero of your own story, I have no problem with you reaching out to me. And what it is, if you just send me a simple DM, I will not like try to charge you for that because you know that's not the goal. But the reason I have the consultation is because my time is valuable. So if you just have a quick little problem, you know, something that I can just give you a little bit of advice on, I will answer your DM. But if it's something I believe that we would need more time to discuss, then I would point you in the direction of a consultation. I have someone to talk to. I want to see you guys win. Oh, hell yeah. I've never been the jealous type when I see people winning or doing better than me in life. What I see it as is an inspiration to go above and beyond to achieve more in my life. Because I, the way I see it, there's 19-year-old millionaires out there. Why can't I be a 19-year-old millionaire? Why can't I chase my dreams and aspirations and knock things out of the park? Don't be envious and jealous of those other winners who you see in life. Be inspired by them. See yourself doing better than them. See it as a competition. Don't be jealous-hearted. There's, there, winners are not jealous-hearted. There is no valor in being a jealous, envious individual. Winning with Nick is the name of the channel. My goal is to make everyone who watches yes, this the repeated mission statement of the channel. May there be more winners me, after the channel like than there will be for the channel. channel is about, guys. Reach out to me. Allow me to help you shape you into the winner you want. I love helping people. You just got to make Thank yourself you guys available. Thank you for sitting through this. It is very important information. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about it. I don't waste my time talking about BS, you know. So, let's recap. Let's recap, guys. The five things to make you start winning, not next week, not next month, right now. Right now. Start winning. Right now. Embrace adversity. Number yep. two, Facts. find a small victory, something you will kick its butt to help you handle. Nah, man. You see, at the time, I was a little scared, blah, 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 to say what's really on my mind. Nah, you find something to kick its ass. Don't kick its butt. What are we, five years old over here? No. Find something to dominate, completely destroy, to train your mind on how to deal with success. So when the bigger issues, the bigger successes come along, you're already prepared. So it's not something that's strange to you. The bigger victories. Number three, become a self-educator. Number four, start working out, guys. You have to build your physical. To physical keep up fitness with your is just as advantage. important as mental fitness. And number five, study other winners. Study Find other winners. Find people out there that yes. are successful. Pick their brains. Study Kobe Bryant. Study Elon Musk. Study David Goggins. Talk to your parents, guys. Talk to people. So for those of you who are in situations where you have a guardian that's accessible to you and you can talk to them, or just an older individual, I guarantee you they've had a lot more life experiences than you and you can learn a lot more than you think you can from them. Take it from someone who doesn't reach out much or at a point in time didn't, but now I do and I'm glad that I am because older people, whether it be by 10 years or 20 years or 60 years, they got a lot up here and most of them are willing to share. You just got to ask and make yourself available and they'll instill some values and some knowledge in you. People who are better in life with you. What good does it do you to talk to somebody who's at the same level or worse than you? So there was a little bit of a uh, miss. I misspoke on my part. Someone at the same level you can build up with. Someone below, if they're just taking value versus adding value, they're just leeching off of you, just cut them loose. There is no reason for them to be in your life. Absolutely no reason. And you, how does that help you win? If you can find an answer to that question, you let me know. I don't see what benefits you talking to somebody who is not at or beyond the level there of what we go. you're trying it. to achieve. Don't surround yourself with losers. Surround yourself with winners. So Become you guys can see the thumbnail All right here. Tips. Just go ahead. Well, you can't actually click it because this will be a uh, video uploaded to YouTube. But I also have some videos to help your winning mindset. You can see the importance of setting goals and eventually turning that into a plan of action, ed executing that to win your own life. But yeah, guys. A winner right now. Thank you guys for sitting through today's video.
If you enjoyed the video, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can see more Winning Mindset content. Thank you guys. Okay, let's get back to the... All right, guys, so that was just me revisiting an old video on the channel, just uh, further expounding on some things that I may have missed out on. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now let that outro play.